he's fired up. He's good. That's pretty good, isn't it? That was fun, man. Yes, sir. How cool is that, Kenny? Oh, if I say him, he's in big trouble. That was awesome. moving if that's him. here late last night we got on several birds this morning at just James's place got a beautiful place here in Georgia several birds gobbling this morning but uh, just didn't work out he gobbled probably a dozen times after we got set up but most likely he had hens he was over the next ridge and kept getting further and further and across the property line so same old same old everybody deals with so we regroup regroup recouping up here and uh, we're gonna regroup and make a collective decision on where we go next. We're pulling up to the camp here in Louisiana, back home. And uh, as you can tell, I left the day after we got seven, eight inches of rain and the water hadn't come up. And you can tell right here, I think we can get to the camp coming in the other way. I do not think we're gonna make it down this road, but this is crazy rain. This is why we've had such a hard time farming this year and crops have been Everybody's late, it's just tough. And this ain't too good. This is either gonna help us a lot or hurt us on these turkeys. They could have flew over, flew to another piece of property or got their own high ground somewhere. We have some high ground, which is a good thing, but uh, we gotta get to the camp first and then get back to the high ground and see if we can't locate some. See what happens, but I hope this water starts getting out of here pretty quick. Well, as you can tell, we gotta use this tractor to get across here to get to this high ridge back here. 
we don't turkey hunt a whole lot in Louisiana. We love to do it, but we just, certain areas have them and we're in the Delta. We're not far from the Mississippi River. Now Mississippi River, River has a lot of birds and when, when the water's right. And we've got a few here and we've been, I wouldn't say raising them, but we've been watching them and taking care of them, taking care of them for several years now. We've got a pretty good flock on. All our neighbors have agreed that each neighbor, we're gonna shoot one a piece and uh, we've got enough for that. And it's the first time we've actually decided to do that. So we're excited to be the first time we've ever, ever really ever turkey hunted out here before, so. <laughs> stand and go left is where I really think they're kind of, they kind of are because it's wide open it looks more way more wide open than this starting to nest and stuff and this is one reason why we struggle with population as you look at good nesting habitat that we have we flood a lot so this is what hurts us and kills us with with turkeys so um, we had a great hatch the last two years but I mean we're not there yet the rain's still early but this is the kind of stuff that does hurt us No, the yesterday morning, but all day they were just there and fly down. So I'm thinking this water, they got scared, falls me in. So but let's work this ridge pretty good all the way to the back there and back. And, and if they're not here, at least it rules it out. You know what I mean? All right, go ahead, Jim. long day we started in Georgia at James's place and we were on a bird or two but it just didn't work out we jumped in the truck drove to Louisiana came home and man we came home to this we came home to we left when it was raining I knew we got seven or eight inches of rain but man it's flooded water's up turkeys done moved I mean there's still a good turkey sign but man we didn't hear nothing these last three or four hours so we're gonna stay in Louisiana another day maybe a day and a half we've got several other options but uh, it's been tough no, no, no major action today, but we're gonna get back after in Louisiana tomorrow, and then who knows the next day, man. Every day's fluid, and just gonna see how it goes. But hopefully, better luck tomorrow. 